that is a lot of questions. I'm kind of nervous. I'm not nervous. I know, you're funny. <laughs> What's up, don't look at me. Look at, <laughs> look at the camera. Out of all the guys I've had crushes on, who did you like the least? Oh, this is so mean. If I had to marry one of my guy friends, who would you want me to choose? Did you ever sneak out when you were a teen? Is it true you love us all equally? You toilet papered someone's house? Was I an accident? We would have to get to the root of why you thought that was a good idea. <laughs> yes. What's that even mean? Oh, virginity. virginity. What's up everyone? Welcome welcome back to my channel. Today I'm joined by my mom and I'm going to be asking her questions. You guys are too scared to ask your own mom. So I posted on my Instagram story and had y'all give me some questions. I watched a couple other videos like this and just gathered up some questions and we're going to basically interview you. What age is it okay for me to kiss a boy? Let's say 16. 16? 15 or 16. 14 to 16. Okay. <laughs> How did you know dad was the one? Hmm. So life with him while we were dating was just really good and calm. And I always wanted to be with him. And when I was with him, everything we did and talked about and like would plan, we both inspired each other to live better lives and we had lots of fun together and still 25 years later when like he's gone for a while and i see him i get excited Aww. when is it a good age to get social media hmm. i think it depends on the family you're in and how active your family is on social media because i know that our family our kids got social media at a younger age because of the situation where my husband, Sella's dad, travels a lot and we use it to keep in touch. And so I think that that's a unique situation. Otherwise, I would maybe say, depending on the maturity of the child, I would say like 12 to 14 years old, maybe. What's your first kiss story? I don't actually remember it very well. Um, we kind of just talked about this. We did. But tell them. <laughs> Like, I remember the first boy I kissed. It was in my hometown in Washington, and we were out in like, so where I grew up in Washington, there's lots of trees and moss and rainforest, and we were in this little goalie hanging out like in junior high, like seventh or eighth grade, and we were just back there together. And he was the first person I kissed, and I re have a memory of kissing him, but I actually don't have a memory of like the first, up like that. anything that like. Uh -huh. When do you think is the right age to start dating? Well, I think it's awkward to date before you can drive. Yeah. Because you can't really hang out yet or pick somebody up or go to their house without a parent. Yeah. So I would say 16 to 17, depending on where you live and your state's laws and when you start driving like middle to high school, older. Because then it kind of makes sense that yeah. like you could actually go be with the person without a parent. I think so. I agree. What's one piece of advice you would give me that you learned when you were growing up. Not just like when you were my age, but just like growing up. One piece of advice. This is the kind of question I'd ask her and then you'd be like, oh, I have to think about it. <laughs> so I know this is such a parent thing to say and you all might just roll your eyes at me, but I would say to try, try so hard to really enjoy the process of like learning things and discovering what you enjoy. And there's kind of this phase of your life where it's, completely acceptable to be really selfish from let's say like your young teenage years till you're even like early 20s where you are in junior high and high school and you go to college and it's all about like what you want to study and what you want to do in life and improving yourself and by the time you maybe decide to get a job or or you have to get a job and you aren't going to college or you have to pay bills and then you have children or you get married or get married and have children you take on a lot of responsibilities where you don't get that time again to just totally develop who you are and spend that time getting to know yourself and maybe traveling and living in cool places so I think that all starts in your teenage years when you if you really embrace like trying lots of different things and developing your hobbies and finding what you love then I think that that all those phases kind of are more enjoyable because you'll study something you love and then you'll get a job with something you love and you hopefully enjoy your life while it's really acceptable to be really selfish. Oh, okay. 
I'll try to be shorter. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Out of all the guys I've had crushes on, who did you like the least? Do you want me to list them? Yes. Oh, this is so mean. I have to guess what you're gonna say. Okay, the OGs. And like kind of, but like. Kind of oh my gosh. <laughs> Which was the one that came over and totally didn't like introduce himself or talk to me? Okay, that one probably. Okay. Because I think the rest were pretty like, hi. like friendly and nice to be around and made an effort to engage with us. And just the one was like really. <laughs> I told her. I was like, she's gonna say. But I mean, at that age, there's not much you can really do to truly impress a parent right away. I feel without, like I would like just being friendly and yeah. nice, and there yeah. was just one who wasn't super friendly. <laughs> if I had to marry one of my guy friends, who would you want me to choose? I have two guesses on this too. Do you want to hear who I think yeah. you would? <laughs> I think you would say Owen Russell or Noah. Oh, yeah. I know, see? Gosh, there's perks to both of those. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be one of them. I was just saying that's And I way. can't pick both of them? No, you can't. Then I'm gonna say Owen Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Because our families already love each other. Yeah, and then Noah, good. because Noah's just a sweetheart. <laughs> I know you so well. I'm like, you're gonna say this. Yes. Do you like or dislike the fact that I started a YouTube channel? I love it. I think it's a super creative outlet for you. And it's taught you a lot about editing and like your confidence in front of a camera and creativity to come up with all the content. Did you ever sneak out when you were a teen? Nope. I would just tell grandma. I feel like I would tell you. We were close. She didn't care. How many boyfriends did you have before dad? Okay, let me think. I'll think backwards. <laughs> da, 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 da. Probably five. I feel like five that were enough. like boyfriends. Like we DTR'd. Okay. <laughs> and then we dated. Yeah. I knew their families. We spent our time knowing we'd hang out and be together. Like actual boyfriends. Yeah. Is it true you love us all equally, your children? Yeah. Do you have a favorite? I always have certain things I'm really loving about <laughs> certain kids at certain times. <laughs> What's the most rebellious thing you did as a teen? Gosh, I almost need like my high school best friend's best friend. Sarah, should we call Sarah? Sarah, <laughs> she was a best friend. I had another one too. Um, the most rebellious thing. I really wasn't rebellious. I don't remember exactly when or who, but we probably like toilet papered a friend's house. You toilet papered someone's house? No, but in the 80s and 90s, not terrible. Like you would just use a couple rolls on their trees or something and it was like really normal. That was like be low so mad if key rebellion. When you were a teen, who did you go to for advice? Like a friend, someone in your family? A friend, probably. A best friend. What would happen if I dropped out of school? Like right now? I don't know. Just in general, I guess. So we would have to get to the root of why you thought that was a good idea. <laughs> And then we would have to maybe try to re-navigate the plan. <laughs> I just can't imagine that happening. Yeah, I don't so think that's I'm really bogus. Them. Yeah. Do you think I'm more like you or Dad? Mm -hmm. Me. Do you want me to tell you about drama at school slash the guys I like and just like that sort of stuff? Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. But a little. I mean, I don't think that it's. I, I don't think like there's a lot of drama. Happens. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think like... there's a lot of drama, and I don't think you have guys frequently that it changes yeah. that I get like. It's usually like, like two months, like yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Or longer. Or there's just the. I want oh, he was so. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most romantic date you've ever been on? Ooh. 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 <laughs> The most romantic. I feel like dad and I have had certain like trips that were extra amazing and it's like the whole trip is a date. Oh, Amanguri. Oh, that's recent. Mm -hmm. Aww, are you gonna cry? No, but that was so fun Aww. and special. Would you let me get a tattoo if I'm like 18 or like... Yeah. Yeah, I knew you would say Was I an accident? No. All four I of used my to think I fun. was. Did really? Think, yeah, because you guys had the thing about the movie and I didn't really believe that for a while. That was true. Yeah, now I think it's true, but for a long time I was like, mm. Did you ever skip a class? Like in Yes. High and in fact, not very often. In high school, yes. But What? <laughs> when I was in ninth grade, 
And here in Utah, this is the same situation for Stella. Um, junior high I went to in Salt Lake City, ninth grade was at the junior high. And at the end of eighth grade, all of us who had just found out we made cheerleader and student body officer, yeah. class whatever, presidency for the next year, we had just been in an assembly together where they announced it and we all found out, we were super excited, it was the like second or third to last day of school. So group of like 20 or 30 of us oh decided, gosh. we decided we would walk across the street to one of the kids' houses to like have snacks to finish the day. And it was like we left school maybe 30 minutes early, but there's this mass group of us <laughs> walking down the street in front of our junior high and crossing the street when sirens go off. Oh my gosh. And we're like, Oh my gosh, like we're all good kids, don't usually do anything that gets us in trouble. Because we were all together, skipping class, going there, the cop came out, talked to us, and he's like, what are you all doing? What's going on? And he escorted us all back to school, to our principal. We got this big lecture about making a bad choice and how we are the leaders of the school and we needed yeah. to be good examples to everyone. And I don't remember, our principal made us like clean the school for 30 minutes. And like by the time he took you back to his school, there's probably Right, then there was like left. 20 minutes left to school. Yeah, um, we called it sloughing back then. Yeah, that's what we call okay. it, sloughing. What's your first boyfriend story? Let me think. Like real boyfriend, like what I said earlier where you can drive yeah. and so I I would say I was a sophomore in high school and he was a senior. Mom. And so he asked me to homecoming my sophomore year of high school. And then we kind of dated because we were going to go to homecoming together. And then I think I took him to like Sadie Hawkins and something else. Yeah. So we went to like two or three dances together. We went on a few dates in between. We hung out some and then it was over. Do tampons hurt? Someone asked this on my story. Only if you put them in <laughs> incorrectly. So I struggled that first. They shouldn't hurt. <laughs> And if it does hurt, you need to ask advice of women around you to get some help. It shouldn't hurt. You shouldn't feel it at all, technically. Yeah, that's true. Is the first time at the gynecologist scary? No, it's nothing to be afraid of. And if anything, just try to realize these are professionals and they're respecting you and they know what they need to check. And it's just a physical body. Like, don't overthink it. It's good to get your checkups, good to get a physical. If you were my age, do you think we'd be friends? Yes. Have you ever gotten into a fight? Like a <laughs> punching <laughs> yes. fight? No. <laughs> I didn't think it. <laughs> Did you ever cheat on any of your boyfriends? Hmm. Yes, my college boyfriend. The one before dad? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I don't that, remember actually. cheating on any in high school. Like, we would break up and then I would date someone, other people. But my oh, college like, boyfriend, yeah. But then I met my husband and he was Everyone's going to be like, your mom cheated? <laughs> <laughs> what relationship advice would you give me, I don't know, if I had a boyfriend? Like, just if you have a boyfriend or... and it's a very respectful, supportive, loving, have fun, everything's good, you're good. If you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a significant other partner whatever and they are jealous or want to limit you on how you spend your time or be controlling or they're verbally abusive or anything is off then like any red flag yes anything that's a red flag or um, makes you uncomfortable then I, I hope that everyone has the courage to get away from that right away and hopefully you aren't just like oh but they're so cute or oh but they are nice sometimes or oh but they're like the cool person to be with or oh I just need the attention or hopefully you can find the strength to have a really high standard for yourself have you ever failed a class yes actually mm -hmm. I failed one in high school, maybe two, and college, at least two. I mean, there are those amazing people out there who just get good grades all the time, but I would say most people that finish college have failed a college class and have to retake it or something. What was your first impression of that? I walked in the student center and yeah. saw him and just instantly had this like law of attraction, <laughs> like this, like, wow, he's just impressive like he's cute and he was by the student office and he was just talking to people and he was a football player and he just had this if you know my husband he's very charismatic very social very engaged with talking to people yeah and he was in one of these moments and it just was like a really great energy how many piercings am i allowed to have 
How many do you have? I have five. Five. How many does this have? Eight. She has eight? Yeah. Then we'll say eight right now. Do you want to see them? Do you like punishing me? No. You hardly ever get punished. Yeah. So I don't do weed. <laughs> so would you rather I died or yourself? <gasps> me. Not you. Are you glad you conceived me? Yes. <laughs> What's that even mean? Oh, virginity. virginity in college. We'll leave See, it at that. Dad's hyping you up. Why are you so hot? Thanks, babe. Does the first time hurt? It shouldn't. How's your day? It's really <laughs> good. Every day is good. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to check out my Instagram if you want to see more up to date on my life or anything like that. As well as all my other social medias will be linked down below. Peace out.